Joe Show, a Fisher Friday on Star 106. Bob Fisher from the KGLO Newsroom is here. And Bob, you're a friend of mine. I need your honest yeah. opinion. Have I failed as a parent? No, why, why would you think that? Well, here's the deal. Um, last night, we're uh, just messing around, playing follow the leader, dragging the kids sure, around on a blanket. Sure. Just, you know, typical, yeah, yeah, typical parenting stuff. stuff. And my oldest daughter decides that she wants to start playing Duck Duck, which okay. they've been doing very much in the news after yes. what happened with the Vikings game where uh, they played Duck Duck after scoring a touchdown. And evidently, they've been playing this at daycare with the kids. You know, you go around, you bop yep, the people yep, on the head, yep. and you say, duck, 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 until you hit the one that's it. Now, what do you say? Duck, duck. I had never heard of gray duck until the other night. Until Monday night. Right. I grew up with gray duck. So what do you say when you play duck, duck? Goose. You say duck, duck, goose. Goose, yeah. Well, my wife's from Minnesota. Okay. I grew up in Minnesota. Right. My children were born here in Iowa. And my daughter's going around going, duck, duck. Duck, duck, goose. And at that point in time, I looked at my wife, and she almost started crying. And we're like, we have failed as parents to raise our children the way that we were raised. Because she said goose and not gray duck. It's the little things that hit you the hardest as a parent. Have I failed because I did not teach my daughter gray duck and let someone else teach her goose? Well, I would I would say you're okay unless you take her over the border. Oh yeah. Oh, if I bring her up to Minnesota and she starts playing duck duck goose, goose duck. ostracized. Yep. Ostrich yes. sized. I guess ostrich that's right. Very good. Very <laughs> nice. Since we're on the bird yes, thing there. Yes. But my worry is, you know, where where does this end? You know, because she's learning things from people that what I want her to be her own person. Yes. But I also want her raised kind of the way that I was raised as well. What happens if she becomes a Hawkeye fan, Bob? I mean, she's already adapting the Iowa language. Her her life improves 25%. If she becomes a Hawkeye fan? Yes, absolutely. Now, should I I pressure her to become a Gopher or a Cyclone fan? No, just let her make her own choice. Let Let her make her own choice. Do we stop at football teams or do do I let that carry on? Like when we're at the grocery store, do I let her just pick everything that we're going to put in the cart? Because yesterday yesterday she tried putting insure in the cart. Okay, we don't need insure <laughs> at my house. So you're saying let her make her own Why choices. Why not? And she's putting insure. Why don't in the you need insure in your house? Because I'm not even sure what insure does. Okay, that's that's good. That's <laughs> so, first, that that right first there. Good point. Yes. But I feel I feel like I should be able to guide her, you know, on the right life. Path. A little guidance. Yeah. Works. Like don't don't cheer for the Hawkeyes, cheer for the Gophers, like Daddy. Why? Why would why, why would why would you want to cheer for the Gophers? Because that's my team. That's how I grew I up. That's how I well, grew you're asking, up. You're asking the, the wrong person that question, though. You know, you know who I should ask about this, yes. and maybe I'll do this on Monday. Okay. Is my mom? Because I was born in Wisconsin. Okay. I got I got out right after kindergarten. Escaped. They you got I, out. Yeah, the like guards were beat sheets or something like that. And, but she's a huge Packers fan. So you think okay. being born in Wisconsin, I should be a Packers fan? I'm not. I grew up a Vikings fan. So I'm, I'm wondering, does she feel like she's failed as a parent because her son? Her only child does not support her favorite football team. Maybe you should bring your daughter up to be a Chargers fan. Bob, come on. DHS is probably <laughs> listening to this. That's Let's true. not get them involved in my life that much. Bob, I want to thank you for coming you, in today. You bet. It's always a pleasure. Absolutely. Fisher Friday joining us every Friday just after 8 on the Joe Show on Star 106.